welcome back to another video. I'm actually shooting this from my phone because we're gonna head out here. Um, I'm gonna do, no Archie, I'm gonna pick up some groceries for my mother-in-law. Allie and I are gonna go to a little pre-early Mother's Day lunch. So sweet of her, she called me. And I had to pick up some other Mother's Day gifts for the mommies. And then my brother and sister-in-law are coming in town for our friend's daughter, Emily's wedding. So we've got a lot going on. So let's go ahead and hurry up and head on out. So Allie and I are here at lunch and we're having some hummus and some veggies and some pita and some yummy hot sauce. We're at Latin. Say hi, Al. <laughs> Well, Allie and I had such a fun time at lunch. So now I'm at uh, my friend's place called Happy and Free. And I'm gonna pick up a few Mother's Day gifts and some cards for the mamas. So our moms and our, our girl moms. So uh, anyway, I thought this would be a perfect place to stop and pick up a gift. Happy Mother's Day to all of you out there. Um, I'm really enjoying such a restful day today. Um, well, first of all, let me back up. We had the most fabulous time at our friend Gary and Jody's daughter Emily's wedding. It was just absolutely over the top, beautiful. She made such a stunning bride. So I am going to attach some pictures here of just some of us, our friends at the wedding and um, so that you can just see, but again, I didn't film any of it because I really just want to keep that special to their family. Um, but it was just a fabulous time. So then this morning we had a Mother's Day brunch, which was a lot of fun. It was perfect. And then now um, came back home and we finished up a little bit more gardening. I am gonna share some with you, but I also am gonna insert, um, this morning I took a little video of our upstairs. Oh, sorry, I had to put my sunglasses on. It is so bright, my eyes get squinty. Okay, so I took some footage for all of you. Um, people have asked, like, they always see the downstairs, but like, what does your upstairs look like? You know, so um, anyway, I just took some pictures of the bedrooms we have upstairs, nothing fancy. It's just a perfect floor when our children come with their babies or grandbabies um so i did a little bit of a just filming very quick so i'm going to put that in this video here just in a few minutes but there's a few things i did want to share with you before i end this video and enjoy the rest of my mother's day um first of all i can't remember if i showed you these shoes or not on my last video so for those of you even if you're just walking your dog but like to garden these are the most comfortable perfect shoes for slopping around in the mud. I love them. They come in so many cute colors. So I was gonna link these for you because I got these last weekend and I, I love them. I wear them every time I come outside now. So let me put it back on. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to share with you, um, I had a company that reached out to me and 
I just thought they were so sweet and I was in need of both of these. So the company is called Yanni or Yanni Best and um, they sent me, how cute this is, this is the shower cap, has a little bow on it. Got so many different patterns and colors and Mark always makes fun of me when I put my shower cap on because it is really funny looking, but this is really cute on. So I wanted to share this with you. I do have a link and a code for all of you from them. So I want to thank them for, um, for sending me this shower cap, but also for those of you that just want your hair to stay nice, and if you use maybe heatless curlers or something, but you just want your hair to stay nice, look at this little silk cap, how pretty, like a little, little nighty thing you can put on and tie so um it, here so you can see if I can show you like this and it keeps your hair so nice so it won't be frizzy and especially if you like to put kind of rollers in it at night and stuff like that or even you want to put velcro rollers so I love this too and this is perfect so uh, when you're using those you don't have to worry about when you sleep and like your hair coming out this will just keep your hair protected and keep it from coming loose from the rollers so I think these are so beautiful and again you can pick the colors so I wanted to share these and thank them for um, for sending those over to me um, let me see what else did I want to share with you okay yes so yesterday, I absolutely love the dress that I wore to Emily's wedding, and um, I've been seeing so many different ads for this, and I thought, well, I just really need to try this, and I'm so glad that I did, and it came just in time. Okay, it's called Westmore Beauty, and it comes with, well, it doesn't come. You can order separately the brush. And when I tell you it's like foundation for your skin, but it gives you such a beautiful, um, the look of your skin is smooth. Uh, if you've got like veins and stuff like that, it just covers them so beautifully. It gave my legs such a beautiful sheen, but I feel like they looked much younger because it was so perfect. And once you put it on, uh, you let it dry for 10 minutes before you put your clothes on. And I mean, it will literally stay on for days, <laughs> um, but you just have to get like some kind of an oil, like a, a shower oil, and it will come off then in the shower. But other than that, it will stay on very nicely. And it is beautiful. It's like the perfect flawless finish for your body. So I picked this up and I'm really glad that I did. It was, uh, in the, I think you get like two, I got two tubes came in the order and then my brush. So I'll link that for you guys as well. And then one last thing I wanted to share with you, um, you know, my friend Heather Baxter, she does all the Bible studies. Well, her new study that starts actually this week and look at, wait for it. It's called Bloom, which is so perfect. And it's Bloom, finding God's will for your life. And so I know my friends and I are gonna do this together. We all ordered it. And I'm so excited to get started on this. This is just gonna be, oh my gosh, you guys, I hope you can see. I mean, the, can you see like the pages? Let me see how I can do this so you can see. But the pages are just so beautiful in here. Um, so you can, you know, go at your own pace or you can follow Heather along with it. And so I can't wait to get this started this week. So I wanted to let you guys know that. And you can always get caught up if you were to order it. I'll also link that for you uh, down below. But as soon as she came out with this one, I'm like, I got to get this one. So I'm happy that I did. Alrighty, friends. Well, I uh, really hope that you enjoyed this video. A little bit of everything. Um, but uh, I just, we're enjoying this gorgeous day today. It's supposed to be beautiful again tomorrow. So I'm... And, just taking in every moment that I can out here uh, on our patio and I am gonna now insert some beautiful footage that I just took of the rest of the things that we planted um, we have a, um, a new kind of a gate out here too um, and I planted some more flowers and everything just looks just so beautiful so right now I'm gonna go ahead and share what I just filmed for you out here and after that I'm going to uh, share a little quick tour of our upstairs all right, friends, you know I've got to give you a garden update. So here we go. My strawberries, of course. And we've added some more things. I just want you to see how beautiful this is. Okay, so you've seen this. I don't remember if you saw we added the chair and my flowers. I put my secret garden sign over here and some marigolds see what's going on over here and again this is going to be uh, blooming with so many different plants and flowers here throughout the summer season 
I got to move the wheelbarrow. I think we're just about done, my friends. Okay, here is what you guys saw in the last videos. Now, this is a brand new, only because we were concerned about the deer. We got this fence and we love it because it's just so simple and easy. Um, I'll link it for all of you. It's lightweight. Oops, Archie is following me. But yet, it's not heavy enough where I can't see um, all my beautiful plants and flowers. So I'll show you from uh, our patio how pretty it looks. Oh, and also, there's a little door right here too if I wanted to cut up. I'm here to walk through. You have some sun tea here sitting out today. I think it's like blueberry. Should be delicious. Um, a few more, just a few more things to plant. Um, some of the mint we're gonna do, like I said, along the, the line of the woods and um, some more of my vegetables. I still don't know what's going on with this one. And this is a new addition. Uh, this is for herbs. So we've got some parsley and some chives, uh, some oregano and some thyme. No, let me see. Thyme and rosemary. But look at how pretty. So here's the gate from here. My peony is starting to bloom. How pretty. Some marigolds. And then um, we planted the other day some dahlias. So hopefully we'll be seeing those coming up here soon. Garden is looking great. I start to see some of my plants are germinating. Basil, tomatoes. And if you look real good, you can start to see some of my peppers. way you guys have seen that in videos so we've got the stairs here and they are open stairs and Archie's watching and we go on up here and what I like about this is that you can see downstairs so this is the downstairs and this is Caitlin's room <laughs> now Caitlin stays when she comes in this room but also we got babies and, uh, you know, grandbabies and stuff like that. So this is the one room. And you know what? I keep it very simple because, you know, Mark and I, are, our room is downstairs. So I don't want to have to come up and dust a thousand tchotchkes, if you know what I mean. Really like to keep it very simple up here. This beautiful piece of art of Venice, which I love. That was my mom and dad's. This cool piece of furniture that was made handmade or you know it actually was two chairs that they put together as a couch it's super cool and then over here just more of the open loft area this was Allie's bedroom and uh, this is where Morgan and Tony always stay now when they come again nothing fancy just simple clean and neat I like it to be that way so I can just dust easy vacuum easy all those kind of things <laughs> And back out here again, this is the bathroom upstairs. So here you go, hello, and the bathroom. And then this was Morgan's room. We moved into this house actually, Morgan was going to college. So this is turn. So now this is the grandbabies kind of room. So we got a twin bed. You can see we have 
uh, the side rails that we put up on their hair, and of course, a crib, a rocking chair, and a nice selection of diapers and wipes and bibs and all those kind of things that I have extra stuff, bottle warmers and all that, and a mirror that needs to be hung. So yeah, this is it, and uh, this is the upstairs. I know that, like I said, many of you have have asked, hey, <laughs> and uh, so I thought, well, let's take a break from a little bit of gardening so you can all see uh, a little bit more of the house. And again, I love the openness of it. I really, really do, which is just fabulous. And um, yeah, let me turn around here. The entryway. And don't look, I've got a ton of shoes down there. And Archie at the very bottom. Friends, well, if you stuck around this long in the video, um, I want to thank you so much for that and thank you for hanging out with me. Um, this week's word, if you hung out this far, is bloom. And any kind of flower emoji that you want to put in the comment section with the word is bloom. So I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you have not signed up for my newsletter, to be sure to do that. The link is in my description box. So we'll see you next time, friends. Bye.